सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इन द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ रिएक्ट नेटिव सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द फायर बेस ऑथेंटिकेशन सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सेटिंग ऑल द फाइल्स फॉर द आईओएस एंड फॉर द एंड्रॉइड इफ यू डिड नॉट वॉच माय प्रीवियस वीडियो हाउ वी सेटअप द आई ओ एस एंड एंड्रॉयड फाइल्स इन आवर रिएक्ट नेटिव एप्लीकेशन सो आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल implement the authentication for authentication we will go inside the firebase project we have already created in my previous video so here we have created the two application one for the ios and one for the android so we just need to add here a new browser and type here react native firebase so here the official documentation of the react native firebase will be open so we just follow all the steps given here so first of all we need to add few packages for authentication for the authentication we need to add the react native firebase app so we are using here npm if you are using yarn so you can also add with the yarn but we are using here npm so we just copy this command and go inside our application and just type here this command and just enter so if you want to implement authentication in your application so this package is very must without this package you cannot run your firebase application so first of all we add this so it will take few seconds we just wait for it so now this is install and another thing we need to add few steps for the android so we already added the android manifest dot xml in my previous video and we just check inside the android so google service dot json file we have already added here and we notice also few other steps we go inside the android and inside built dot gradle so inside the android we just go inside build.gradle and here we just check here so this line we need to add here we already added this line here so here is this line we added this and next thing we go inside the android app and build.gradle and here we need to add this line so we go inside the app and build.gradle and we just search here this line so actually we are using here double quotes so this line is already added here so we don't need to add again because in my previous video we have set up all these files and for ios we need to add the google service dot json so this file we can directly download from our firebase and in my previous video we have already downloaded this file if you don't download so you can go inside our project and here you can download inside the ios application so here you can download the google service info plist file and here you can download google service dot json file so both files we have already downloaded and in my xcode i already added this file google service info plist file so you can directly drag and drop here if you did not add this file so these files is very compulsory for running the ios and android application so next thing we go inside the app delegate dot h so here we just go inside the app delegate dot m file so actually we go inside the xcode and here is the app delegate dot m file so already we are importing here app delegate dot h files so in the site when we are adding this file so this file is given in this format but in the react native we just add this file like this so we just need to use here import like this because we are using here import so here we need to add like this and here again we need to add this file in the bool application did finish with launching so we are using here did finish with options so here we are using the bool did finish launching with options so here already we added this line 
in my previous video so this is correct so another few changes we need to add inside the port file because we are using here react native so we add to here linkage so we just copy this line and we just go inside our port and here we need to add this so you can add this line in the top here and another thing we need to add here this line we just add inside the port this line yeah so we uh, almost added all the steps for this so we just uh, save this and we just try to run our application this is not declared because we added this but don't run here a port file so we just need to add here cd ios and run port install okay so all the files is now installed so port install command is very necessary for running the application on the ios go one step back so now we add another package for authentication actually this is the basic setup we have added so now uh, we go inside the authentication and we just click on this so here react native app we have already added so now we need to add react native auth so for this we just go inside our project and here we just add here npm here you can just add this auth and here and just add this package because this package is very necessary for the authentication in firebase so we need to add this and another thing we need to run for the ios so we just go inside the ios directory and run here port install so finally all the port file is generated so we can go inside our package.json file and check the install packages here so the two packages for the firebase app and auth we have installed so because we are using here react native current version is 0.73.6 so actually this is the latest version at this time currently this is the latest firebase version we are using in this application so now we need to run the command cd dot dot we just go outside the ios folder and run here npm so we just run this command so we just use here npx so now our node is running and we need to run our application on the ios so we just again stop and and now we run the application so here is something wrong because firebase core is actually not working here so we go inside our react native authentication and here we just again check the started package we have added here go inside the ios and here is wrong because we are importing here firebase.h so we just copy this and just replace here like this and now again run the application again we need to clean our project and run the application again but the application is not working so we just again open the project 
so coding yarn dot xc workspace we just again open this file yeah so finally app is running on the ios device so now we go inside the firebase authentication and here our application so uh, we need to copy this line for the authentication and we just go inside the login screen so actually this is our login screen and here so actually this is our uh, login screen and here we need to add this line for authentication so we are using here a login button so here we are navigating inside the home tab so here we just add a login click method and inside this method we just call this navigation because we are using here a function component we just use like this and here we use async and this navigation we just use inside this method so actually now I just comment this line here and this is the login click and here we just add the code for the authentication so actually this is listener for the authentication we just uh, use this in the later but currently in this video we will sign in with email and password so this is the code for the email and password sign in so we just copy this code here and we just go inside our code and here we just paste this code and we just use this code for the sign in just I save this and so here I can use any name suppose I am using here our another name suppose abc at the rate example.com yeah, uh, so this is any password you can so just this is for the testing purpose I am creating here and just save this we did not add any condition for the sign up we just click on the submit and we just check the firebase authentication so just I click on the submit but here we are facing in error that this operation is not allowed you must enable the service in the console so this error is related with our firebase because we did not enable the service of the email so here we just go inside the authentication and click on the sign in method so here you will see different different type of the authentication method so we just click on the email password and here we need to enable this service so if you did not enable this service so you will not be able to log in inside the firebase so we need to enable here and just click on the save so you will see this type of screen after enabling so email and password is enabled now so now we click again on the submit and here you will see the user account is created so this message is now showing here this message is here so now the user is created so actually this method we used for the create user with firebase and now we just check on the firebase this user is created or not so inside the users you can click like this and here you will see the detail of your user so abc at the rate example.com user is now created yeah so actually this code we are using for create user so uh, in our app we need to use this code inside our screen where we are using creating the user so actually this code we are using for create user so this is our sign up screen if you just click on the sign up so this screen is showing here so here we are using a register so uh, we just add this code again here and go inside the sign up so actually we just copy this method here and add inside 
the sign up screen and we create a dynamic user so inside this button we call this method and here we are using email so actually this email we just pass here and we just need to add here password we want to add so in the sign up screen we just create the user uh, and inside the login we login with this user so for this we need to use another code for the signing so this is a sign in with email so here two method is already given in the email and password one is the create user with the email and password and another is sign in with email and password so we just use here sign in with email and password and here we just use the username just we inside and here we just add the password we are using here and if we use and inside this we just add here if we log in with this user so we go inside the home tab and inside the sign up we also need to import the authentication so we just import here react native firebase authentication library and if you successfully inside the result of the sign in user so so with the help of the oath you can also check the current user of the firebase dot current user so like this you can also check the detail of the current user so here you can also print the user okay so now save and just go inside the authentication and here space you just need to add the detail of the each user suppose we are typing here test so we are using here two different variables but username we need to check here username and inside the email we are also using here usernames here we need to add few corrections like uh, we just use here email so we just type here so here message is showing that user created so now the user is created so we can check the user in the firebase again if the any other new user is created so we can refresh here so you can see here a test at the rate gmail.com a new user we have created now so this user is also created so now we just log in with this user so now we go inside the login screen we just use here 